Oh, air hockey, basketball, we could play that. Oh, whack-a-mole. Any brothers or sisters? Three brothers. Really? Mm-hmm. Two are in the Marines, one's a cop. Vegetarian? No, I love meat. <laughs> What's your blood type? Oh, negative. Universal donor. Universal donor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about the downsizing. There's no downsizing. What? Oh, nothing. Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it, but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. Dwight's room key. And Dwight's room. What can I say? Old habits die hard. D? Oh my god. Dwight got a hooker. Mm. Oh, no! No, Michael! No! 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 <laughs> but liquor! Our prices have Stop never it. been lower! Stop it! Stop it. He You've reached the voicemail of Dwight Kurt Schrute. Please leave. Ah! Here is Dwight. What the? Oh, man. What do you think happened? Oh, looks like Jim got mixed up with some bad apples. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't me. I gotta find Luanda at the alcohol club. Oh. God! <gasps> I am so scared when people don't label their personal food. <clears throat> oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? <laughs> Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Is there another meeting scheduled? I was going to do the Blackberry tutorial in here. Michael told us to wait in here. We don't know why. Hey. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, nobody panic. Excuse me, everyone. Sex! Hey, Pickles, Merry Christmas. Open immediately. Love Swiss cheese. Stop. Too late. If I was the real Scranton Strangler, you'd be so strangled by now. <laughs> Seriously? You're gonna sit in the back? Uh, yeah. That's the safest part of a car. In the event of a crash, the driver always protects his side first. Back to you, sir. Well, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it with... Knock, knock. Who's there? KGB. KGB? We will ask the question! What the hell was that?! Ding dong. Who's there? KGB. Try to get the door. I'm not answering the answer door. Answer the Ding door. Dong. No way, it's yeah, the KGB. Ding dong. I'm not answering that. Yes, you're Ding going you to answer it. I'm not going to answer it. I'm not going to answer it, it's the KGB. The KGB will fit for no one. <laughs> like a few years down the road, CC says, Mom, there's a ghost in my closet. Now you say one of two things. One, you're just having a bad dream. Or two, let's go see what it wants. I'm not going to freak her out, Jim. Okay. I'm not going to lie to her either. Oh, come on. When I was a boy, there was an empty house just up the hill from my family's. It was rumored 
a man committed suicide there after being possessed by the devil. One day, a young woman, Lydia, moved into the house with her infant child. That very night, Lydia was awakened by a loud, heinous hissing sound. She walked to the nursery, and there in baby's crib was a snake wrapped around baby's neck, squeezing tighter and tighter. Oh my goodness. The crib was full of dirt. Baby struggled to free itself from underneath, reaching and clawing, gasping for air. Embalmed bodies rose from their sarcophagi, lurching toward baby. For they were mummies. No! Amongst them was a man, tall, slim. Jim. Almost instinctively, she turned to her husband. Oh, wait, she thought. I don't have a husband. For Lydia and her husband had had an argument, one they couldn't get past. Each night they slept one inch farther apart until one night Lydia left. It was about this time she lost herself in imaginary worlds. She had quit the book club, the choir, citing something about their high expectations. Her lips slowly grew together from disuse. Every time she wanted to act and didn't, another part of her face hardened until it was stone. And that fevered night, she rushed to the nursery and threw open the door. Baby, are you okay? Baby sat up slowly, turned to mother, and said, I'm fine, bitch. I'm fine.